Hey everyone, thank you for uh, your patience. We've been working hard behind the scenes trying to get Doom Wings ready uh, for our delivery by Christmas. And this month we're actually getting some samples and we're gonna get to start showing off. Today, we're gonna start with play mats. So a lot of you who've seen our live streams have already previewed an early edition of our uh, gold box bundle play mat. This is the community play mat for the uh, center of the table for people to play around. What's nice about our previous prototype, we learned that we were actually taking up more table space than we needed. So we made something a little more compact. This is something so that players can still play on their coffee tables uh, or still even on camping trips if they wanted to experience the Doomwing universe while they're playing. You can see here, we have a nice little guide to help you set up your game. You have your traits pile, the community traits pile, where the cards get discarded the age pile, which shows you the rounds uh, for actually playing the game. And then we actually have our eras set up as well. So every time you pull a catastrophe, you can move on to the, to the next era and this will help you keep track of the game. We're very happy with the quality of these play mats. Printing on fabric is especially difficult, but uh, AdMagic has done an excellent job getting all the little details. Notice the gradients came out really nicely and gradients in printing are particularly hard to do. And then we're especially fond of these stitched edges. This is going to allow the play mat to last a long time uh, and keep it, keep it from fraying. And then you can see this is a pretty high quality play mat here. It's not gonna move around on your table. Um, you know, when you play your cards, it's gonna protect them. I don't know, we couldn't be happier with these samples. I love how the gradient or the, the printing goes onto the stitches. Yes. So you can like oh, see I know. it on top of the stitching, like it's really nice. So now for the first time, we're also going to reveal our individual player mats. So we're on a particularly big table here, uh, but this is for an actual like a game mat, not just where you're playing Doom Link with your friends and family, getting drunk and you know, just kind of having a good time at night. But this is where maybe you want to try and get a little competitive or even set up uh, you know, kind of set up the universe. And one thing that's always been important to us about Doom Wings is when you play the game, it's not just like any other small box game uh, where, you know, you're just playing cards. We kind of want to immerse you into the world of Doom Wings. So it was important to us that we make each player map individual, like a different part of the universe of Doom Wings. So here we have uh, Age of Dracula. This is, a, again, it's a card in the game, but we've expanded the artwork to fit uh, to fit a much larger player mat. And then what's nice is we've, we've set it up so that you can actually lay out your cards. We'll demo this at the end of the video, but we try to keep it, you know, in a way that encourages um, how you organize it and lay out your cards. But at the same time, we don't want you getting too finicky about how you lay your tableau out. We want you to enjoy it and play the game you want to. So if you want, you can also just make a mess and throw your traits <laughs> in this trait pile. We give you plenty of space for that. So basically, I mean, you could do like all your reds here. You yes. could do all your greens here. Yeah. You could do, if you if, let's say your strategy is to play, you know, I'm gonna play a lot of red cards. You could do two columns yeah. of reds if you wanted to. Yeah. But if you're a little chaotic like me, you can also just throw them into the pile just keep them in this square so it's not messing up the table too much. Dude, those gradients actually look really cool. I think, yeah, and the fog. Yeah, they really that's what I love in the fog. Yeah. yeah. So then we also have a place where you can put your first dominant trait and then your second dominant trait. And this way you'll know once you're full filled up on that and you can always refer back to those dominants because they often have special abilities that you have to keep track of. And then finally, this is for the gene pool card. Again, we'll demo this at the end, but uh, when you first place your, uh, your gene pool card here, it'll be vertically placed, but then as it changes, you might have to place it horizontally. And this just helps keep your table somewhat organized. Nice. So moving on, we've also got uh, Tropical Worlds. Now this one, we're gonna change the art just a little bit. We learned something about uh, the factory. They use a lot more yellow than we had initially intended. We wanna bring back some orange into this play map, but otherwise we are very happy with the detail they managed to pull out. You can even see in the little fauna, uh, they, they do pull out some of this yellow, so you get a very light texture. I don't know if the phone can show it, but it's nice because it's not distracting you. This is all negative space, but it keeps some detail to keep the overall piece very interesting. All right, I love this next one. This might be the highlight, common <laughs> showers, very vibrant. And again, I wanna just show you something here. This is obviously a very red and orange piece. This is a very kind of teal and yellow. This is a very purple. Every player 
is supposed to sort of have their own unique experience. So it's almost like you're choosing your world. So this is our desert world. We have one of our dune wings kind of overlooking as the sun sets. And then we have a couple of little nomad dune wings walking through the universe. So this is sort of like uh, your, uh, what, climate zone or biome? I'm not sure. Your, 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 your void, your, <laughs> your, uh, your mind space. That's what I was looking for. Uh, this is from our age, uh, Flourish. So uh, originally the card is really about right here, um, right right here. So you can see kind of the trees and the little doomlings playing with the leaves, but we expanded the artwork just to show a little more of the universe. And for fun, I put a little owl doomling. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really exist in the universe just yet, um, or in the in the card game just yet, but that's for, owl might be for owlings. <laughs> I love that one. This is one of my favorite designs. Yeah. Actually saying that, this might be my favorite design. So Glacial Drift. Uh, here you can see we've got our iceberg landscape. We have our little doomling uh, you know, <laughs> in his boat going uh, going through. And then, um, you know, what I what I like about this is it breaks it up. We had, it, we had some darker colors before, maybe more vibrant colors, but this is a nice, cool, um, kind of brighter play map. Uh, and it shows you more like a tundra lands landscape. Yeah. And then finally, inspired by the Age Galactic Drift, we've got our little doomlings floating yeah. through space. So you can see they're having a good time. They're all connected, exploring the universe. But uh, this one, this one, the little <laughs> life lost <cord> got face <laughs> got clipped. So hopefully uh, she'll be okay. Juicy. <laughs> Again, so you can see how. All of them have the same layout, so all players are going to still have the same functional play mats. Um, but we just, again, we want you to feel like you have your own individualized biome to experience. So. Cool. And here we have our four pack on display. You can see uh, we have a lot of different colors. It's a very vibrant experience. Everybody has their own unique individualized uh, play map. So I guess no one will be confused where they're sitting if we all get up and go to the bathroom. Um, but also let's talk about the dimensions. So these are 22 inches wide by 11 inches tall and I believe roughly that's from uh, end to end for the stitched edges. You can see on a card table there's actually plenty of space here. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just think this came out really nicely as a collection. Now, if you get the six pack of playmats, you actually get two additional playmats to further customize your experience. This is Galactic Drift and Glacial Drift. And what's more is, with six player mats, you can then play with the full six player experience with everybody getting a playmat of their own. So here's a little demo of one way you can use the playmat. Uh, again, we have our gene pool section right here. Everyone starts with five, but as you uh, change your gene pool, um, then you can use this little space and you can be especially neurotic about it. Like, <laughs> uh, and then here, here's one way you can lay out your tableau. You can organize your colors kind of like so. So if you're going for a strategy that's very uh, purple heavy um, here, then you can keep track of your numbers and your effects and your colors. But if you're a little like me and you don't mind a little bit of the mess, there's nothing wrong with just someone out there is gonna be annoyed. <laughs> Someone's gonna be annoyed. And then additionally, if you don't wanna to worry too much about it, as long as, you're playing, as long as your cards kinda of go in this order, you can let your opponents get really frustrated when they're trying to figure out what cards you have. <laughs> the world is yours, it's your life, you live it. Uh, we do encourage you to the, use the dominant sections though, so there's my first dominant, because these cards are a little important to highlight. You'll wanna know because these can often anchor your strategy.